Hey, so a super quick video hopefully again um, this afternoon. I'd like to talk a little bit about relativity. Uh, and we're not talking about Einstein's general theory or anything else like that, but we're talking about the relativity of how we experience life. So I've been reading a book in the last few days called Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. It's quite a well-known book. Um, definitely recommend you have a look. And I'll, you know, I really felt that I, I really, um, yeah, felt one of the chapters that I was reading recently when he's talking a lot about um, the relative experience of suffering and um, and indeed of happiness. So in his example, he's talking about how in the concentration camps, um, which is he's a you know a survivor, in the concentration camps, how the, the the people there found a way to to find little joys. They had horrific experiences, um, but they would find relative joys. And he uses um he uses the example of a train that was supposed to go to um, Auschwitz that only goes to Dachau, and like there is the horrible places to go, but the relative um, happiness in not going to the worst of two terrible places was very real to them. And I think that's relevant right now because a lot of people are experiencing, uh, you know, stress, confusion, feeling restricted. Um, they're experiencing um, frustration because of some of the things that are going on around us. And I've heard all sorts of, sort of very um, extreme ways of describing it, like oh, this is back, like being back in wartime. And reading this book, and I think, you know, anyway, if you take a chance to step back and look, you'll see that it's not the worst situation we could be in, not by a long way, that we still have a huge amount to be grateful for, and that, um, you know, hopefully you can find a way to either... Um, get a perspective on your uh, frustration and unhappiness if you're experiencing it at the moment um, and understand that it's, you know, you're not missing out that much. Um, yes, it's, you know, it's difficult because we're used to very free lives and I think that's, the, that's part of the problem. Um, maybe this, this crisis as it's going on at the moment will give us an opportunity to actually step back and be, be grateful for the things that we take for granted every day. I mean, you know, <laughs> Again, it reminds me of something like uh, when when uh, when when Dwight gets removed from his job in in the American series of The Office, um, and after a while, um, people are thinking, actually, I really miss that annoying guy. Maybe you've got a uh, you know maybe you, <laughs> maybe there's somebody you work with at work whose annoying habits you actually quite miss at the moment because in a way they were reassuring. But two or three weeks ago, there would have been there might have been a thing that that tipped you over into having a really bad day. So. Hopefully think about that. As I said, everything's relative right now. People are feeling, um, most people, a lot of people, I think, are feeling a little little sad, a little restricted, a little frustrated, whatever it is. Um, it's really important right now that we hold, we hold on, we stay in as much as possible. We have to try and look after ourselves. We have to try and look after the, I mean, if you're in the UK, the NHS workers that are going out, or if you're anywhere else, you know, the health workers that are going out. Um, and risking their lives to try and try and help people at the moment. It's difficult. Today is, it was a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon where I am, and I saw a lot of people, not a lot of people, I saw at least two or three groups of people down at the park that I go to to walk. Um, I think it's really important that we stay home, we stay safe, we stay responsible, we try to stay unselfish at this period, um, and yeah, it too will pass. Thanks again. Catch you soon.